Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Hughes Compound Southern Command. And uh, last time we were talking about Home Automation Assistant, that's this right here. And I was talking to you about, or last video about home stuff. Uh, these outlets run on 433 megahertz. There's five outlets, I believe it was 30 bucks. The transmitter and receiver that plug into the Pi Pi were 10 bucks. And with that, you can broadcast and control these guys. And you can sniff the frequencies on the remote with uh, software. So I'm going to show you that right now. So if I start the software, the sniffer, and let's just turn the Christmas lights on. And you can see the frequency, and I'm going to turn them off. So you see that sniffer working. So that's how that works. That is the code you're going to be using in the YAML file. So let me just... Drop that and let's go back to the YAML file. And for folks that don't know what I'm doing, I'm using uh, Nano. So here are all of the outlets that I have configured. So here's my Christmas lights. I actually set up two of the outlets because you program them to the code. And you don't need the transmitter that comes with it, the, the handy dandy little remote, which I stored already. Uh, all you have to do is you could type the code you want to use in here and then program, you know, there's a button on the side of, oh, let me get it. So on these guys, there's a button on the side you can turn on and off. So what have I been turning on and off? What can you use them for? Well, all right, so we got Christmas lights. So there's uh, Christmas lights in and out of the house and they go on and off with this. So here's the Christmas tree, and here's the Christmas lights. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them so well. Yeah, you can see them, and here they go off. And here's my master bedroom light. And here's my office light. Oh, sorry. That would push the wrong button. I started the laser jet. Let me turn it off. We'll do the office light. And if you haven't watched my video, this is the Raspberry Pi 3. This is the receiver board. And that's the transmitter board. So they each have uh, three wires. So power, ground, and data. The other wire is the antenna pin. So I just threw these wires, spare wires, on the antenna pin lead. I was originally using my Pi Zero for this, but I didn't solder, didn't break out the soldering iron to put solder pins in like the uh, Pi Three has. And actually, I am going to take a commercial break right now, and I'm going to thank my patrons from Patreon. So go to FlyingRich.com. And you can see the three podcasts, links to the three podcasts that I do on a weekly basis. That's the Linux Link Tech Show, the Mini PC Show, and uh, the Makers. And actually, I don't do the Makers that often. But I want to thank my patrons. So Andy Meows, John Hollinger, Umar Sears, oh, it's Umar Sears, singular, not plural, uh, Matt Champ, and Token Linux Guy. Guys, thank you so much. And if you like what you see or I save you money because I do save money, people money on bargains, Please contribute a dollar a month. That's all I ask. And please, uh, you know, tell me what you're interested. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me some comments. All right. So the question is, what else can you do? Well, I had gotten one of these uh, a year ago. So what it is, is uh, I think that it's like 10 meters of uh, colored lights. All right. So there's the good colored lights and the bad colored lights. You don't want these. Don't get these. But, okay. So it's, uh, I think, two reels of 10 meters of colored lights. Here's how to tell what lights to get, is you want these colored lights. All right, this is only uh, five meters, I believe. And they, they have a connector on, the, uh, on both ends. So there's male and female connectors. Let's see, I think there's a close-up of the light. Yes, so right here, the way to tell the difference, if it doesn't say SMD 550, is that you see the LED, the emitter right here, is quite different than the emitter. Let's see. 
if you see them like this, where there's a red, a green like that, typically that's going to be the the 3528s. And I don't, oh, wait, yeah, there it is. And you can see that the emitter, there's an R, G, and B. You don't want those because you don't get full color. So it's, I don't know if it's misleading or not, or I had different desires. I did get this stuff, but what I am going to do is I'm going to order another one of these. That's the Wi-Fi adapter. Now, this Wi-Fi adapter works with IFT, a remote on your phone. So whether it's Android or iPhone, it works with Google Home and it works with Alexa. Pretty freaking amazing and a darn good deal. So I'm going to grab like one or two of these and one or two of these. And that's from Banggood. And I'll include the URL. But... Let's go through this. What the heck is more cool than adding these guys in? And the only thing you had to do for it to auto-locate them in Home Assistant are these lines right here. So it just has to say Platform Flux LED, which you can get from right here. So when you're looking at Home Assistant, it's light.flux underscore or underbar, however you want to say it, LED. Oh man, that's focusing in and out. So what does that get you? That gets you this right here. I, I could name it. I just have to put a real entry as opposed to it auto finding. And what it does is I turn this on and then I get these lights showing. So the lights here, I'm just cycling between red and green right now because it's Christmas. You can do multiple different colors. There's RGB uh, on here. They all on is quote unquote white, but it looks just like rainbow colory. Uh, I do have, oh, I watch this. All right, it is integrated with Google Home. So, okay, Google, turn lights off. You got it, turning off the color red. And they're off. Okay, Google, turn lights on. How is that? That's pretty cool. Okay, so, uh, okay, Google, turn off the lights. I'm going to hit a switch right here. There's a switched outlet up there, and I have just some white, uh, two strips of white LEDs. And uh, I do have some LEDs around the house here, I'll show you. So here are the... Uh, oh, that's not the cabinet LEDs. Above and below the cabinets, I have LEDs, so they're up top here, and they're down below. I also have LEDs up here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Yep. All right. So there's a wall between the formal dining, actually what we're using as the formal dining room and the kitchen slash living room. And right here, the formal dining room, those aren't LEDs. They're actually, um, oh boy, it's not focusing. They're actually fluorescent lights. And I want to put some LEDs up there. And I want to put the new ones that have infinite color variation. So that, that's going to, there's also a powered outlet up there. So the, L, the lights, well, that's focusing in and out. Let me see if I got that. Now let me just focus here. All right, so the... Uh, There's a switched outlet. The outlet is split. So the switched outlet is on the fluorescent lights and I can plug a, another Wi-Fi controlled LED strip up there. Okie doke. So here's Home Automation Assistant on my phone and the remote for uh, the lights, the LED strips is right here. So this is um, the, the name is, and, and I'm stalling, it's not RLUX, it is, it's Magic Home. So you get, whoop, Magic Home app, Pro, Magic Home Pro app. Oh yeah, I had it right over here. Yeah, the Magic Home Pro app, and again, I'll include the URL. But what you need to do is create an account. You create an account on here. Whoop. Stick loosened up, okay. So you go to sign in and you create an account on the Magic App Pro. I already did that on my other phone. And once you do that, you can go to the Google Home Assistant, like right here. It shows you exactly how it works and how to set it up. 
So when you're adding on your Google Home, nope, not what I want to do. You can just select Magic Home right over here and you enter your username and password for the account you just created and you can set up uh, your lighting control and then here's all of the Google controls you can do with it. You also, from your remote, uh, can set up custom controls. So that flashing green and red for Christmas, I called it Christmas, and I have that set up on the phone here to control that. So that's the scoop. That's how to get some cheap LED lights. And so we're, we're talking about $5.99 here and $7.99, so six and eight bucks, 14 bucks. I'm probably gonna grab two of those. So uh, 30 bucks and however long it takes, bang good to get stuff. And you got a nice controllable, infinitely variable LED setup. Thanks a lot guys, have a good day.